Welcome back to Science in VR. Science in VR is brought to you by OSGRAV, the ARC Center of Excellence for Gravitational Wave Discovery. Today we're going to explore the Star Lab in Cyber. We're going to start back at our home page and then go down to our menu where you can pick Star Lab. Once there, you'll find yourself in the cockpit of a spaceship. Looking around, you'll see some buttons, you'll see some reference materials, and you will see a cannon. What we're going to do in Star Lab is investigate how stars change over the course of their lifetime. We're going to circle back to this diagram you see here. From here, you will be able to choose three different trajectories for three different stars. First is a low mass sun-like star. When you click on the star, you will be able to evolve it through the various points in its life cycle, with the last one being its end stage. The idea here is to let you investigate three different star life cycles. Here is for a moderate size star. The star will become a red giant, and then at the end of its life will become a neutron star. Finally, the third trajectory takes us from a massive hot star to a more massive red supergiant and then to a black hole remnant. The goal in these scenes is to allow you to investigate the differences. You can even use the cannon to fire probes near any of your stars to see how the object interacts with those probes. You can change the speed at which the probes are fired as well as the direction in which they fire. In addition to this, you should be able to further investigate what happens to these stars over their lifetimes using this NASA graphic embedded in the scene. It will provide more details. We can hit the home button to take us back to our main menu. Next, we're going to go ahead and investigate some additional resources related to understanding stellar evolution. Mission Gravity is OSGRAF's program for secondary school students to help them understand stellar evolution by traveling to stars and studying them in virtual reality. Geared at students in secondary school, this program has been delivered face to face. However, in 2020, OSGRAV has also developed a remote version of it so that students can experience this program from anywhere in the world. More information about this is available on the OSGRAV Outreach website. There are also some additional resources on the Science in VR website. Here, once again, if you scroll down to the information about additional resources, you'll find teachers' assets. Clicking on the materials button, you will find a, pro a lesson about the properties of stars. This is a lesson geared towards secondary school students with the resources for teachers to deliver it in their classrooms. Thanks for exploring the Star Lab with OSGRAV.